Hello and welcome all of you beautiful humans, beautiful souls out there. I'm really excited to bring through today's message to you. Today we'll be talking about food, nutrients, vitamins, all that kind of stuff. So if you feel like you're not interested in any of these topics, then you could skip this video if you want. I'm letting you know off ahead in time that that is the topic for today. <laughs> and um, I heard a quote which made me start thinking and after i was thinking about it i felt like i need to call in mother mary and jesus to help and assist me in understanding and learning more about this so i know if some of what i was thinking was right and also get help with doing some very interesting things that i'll talk about at the end here but before I start that, I wanted to be fully honest with you. I was not raised religious. <laughs> um, I come from an Orthodox Christian country, but I was never raised to be religious. And I even felt um, quite repelled by the church because I really felt the, the corruption there. I felt the dissonance. I felt the, like things were not balanced. Things were not okay there. The stories felt distorted. And I had an inner knowing in me that, that this is just not what it was supposed to be. Or it felt like it's just a very big distortion of what it really could be. And uh, I always knew that these people existed. And I did feel like their names and energies have power. But it took me a while to really connect more with them. The first one of the first times that I did automatic writing at the beginning of my spiritual journey. Um, automatic writing is when you are in a meditative state and then you write down whatever comes through to you. Mother Mary and Jesus came through and my first thought was like, no, no way. <laughs> I, I don't believe this. <laughs> so um, I, I doubted that for a while and I never contacted them for a while but they did somehow keep coming through in certain ways helping and assisting me and um i really felt like right now they were the right ones for me to contact to get this information through so when i did call them it was very interesting because mary mother mary came on my right side jesus came on the left and her energy was like a light that was very steady and very calm. While Jesus's was light and bright, but also kept going in this like figure eight infinity uh, sign motion. So it was not steady at all. It was just kept moving while hers was very steady, very calm. Um, just wanted to let you know, you might do what you will with that information. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. Anyway, the quote that I heard was, if you eat life and live foods, if you eat live foods, you are creating life and you will be alive. If you're eating dead foods, you will create more death and you'll be more dead, which I found very interesting. Um, I myself am vegan. I was led to eating a very, let's say, healthy and <laughs> clean diet. And I didn't know why at the beginning, but then I started understanding why. And I think this video is going to explain to most of you why I am eating the way that I'm eating. Uh, but one very crucial point is, you do not have to change anything. You don't have to change the way you eat. You don't have to change the way you live. No one is forcing you or making you do anything that you don't want to do. But if you feel called to start making small changes, then maybe this video will help you to gain knowledge on how to do that. And uh, maybe this video can inspire you to make small, small changes that will better your life and make you more alive, make you more light and help raise your vibration because that is what these living foods do, plants. They help you raise your vibration. And um, something I want to start with is how come, because it's something I thought about, so I'm sure someone else thought about this. How come 
plants are labeled as living foods when they're basically cut so if you like you take a tomato you cut it off from its it's like an umbilical cord you cut off the baby from the umbilical cord so it can't receive any more nutrients to grow anymore um well it's the same with the human you cut off the baby's umbilical cord and it can survive for a while by itself without food or anything of course after that to survive the human needs more nutrition but Plants don't need to survive any more than they need to. They are still alive and living when you are ingesting them. And they're dead. The way that you can tell they're dead is when, when they start um, having dark. Like the, the leaves of a salad can start getting dark at the edges. That's, you can see that that part is decaying. and So that's dead. And most people don't eat that part, so I would suggest don't eat the decaying parts. Uh, or when you see that a part of the f uh, fruit or vegetables is moldy, that's also a sign that that part has has decaying cades. So don't eat that, obviously. <laughs> but in general, the foods are still living. And uh, of course, meat is dead. We have no questions there, I hope, about that. The animal has died. And um, processed foods, even if it is plant-based food, so it's only made from plants, it's still processed. So the plant still, in a way, died. Yes, it might have some nutrients, might have some things that will help you, but it's not going to particularly make you lighter. It's not going to uh, help you raise your vibration. It's not going to help you become lighter as well. It will help fill you up, of course. It will help you in certain ways. If you feel drawn to it, it will help you in some way. Everything that we ingest, if we feel drawn to it, it's helping us in a way. The heavy things are helping us stay lower. The light things are helping us go higher. The Things in the middle are helping us stay in the middle. They're all important. And this is a very important concept that I would like everyone to remember. Everyone is needed here on the planet right now. The people who are very low vibration, the food that is very low vibration, they are needed. The people who are in the middle, everyone is needed. The people who are higher up, they are also needed. People who are mostly light, eating light, raising their frequency, they're all needed. <sighs> Remember that because it will come up a lot <laughs> in this video. So that's the point here. They're living foods because they're still alive when you eat them <laughs> most of the time. And they're bringing light to you. Uh, one of the first things that they told me when they came through, I think that was Jesus telling me that, uh, was... Imagine that you're growing a tomato. Your tomato might end up being sweet. Imagine that your neighbor is also growing exactly the same tomato from the same seeds. Everything is the same. Exactly the same. The only thing that's different is the energy of the person who is growing it. So, because of that, his tomato might end up being more sour than yours. Why is that? It's because plants have that connection to the universal intelligence that we have as well, but for us is more muddled. So a lot of people aren't able to fully connect to themselves, to their higher selves, to the universal intelligence, and a big reason for not being able to connect is a lot of these things like these processed foods, these heavy things, the lower frequency things, um, etc. So because of that, we don't fully understand everything. I'm sure you guys know that. But plants still have that connection. Plants know exactly who is going to eat them. To fully explain that, I have to uh, say that time doesn't exist. It's not 
past, present, future, everything is existing at the same time. Because of that, the plant knows exactly who's going to eat it, who's going to ingest it, what it's going to be used for. Because of that, the plant, every single tomato will have a different substance of vitamins. One might be sweeter because it carries something that makes it sweeter. My one is going to be less sweet because it carries something else. So the plant knows that you're going to eat it. So it creates the nutrients that you need. That's why it's amazing when people grow their own food and uh, it makes them much healthier than people who don't grow their own food. But he was very adamant about this. Most people will not have the energy, the time, or the means to grow their own food, and he knows this. So he just wants you all to remember that just being conscious of this is important. You don't have to particularly go and grow your own food. But remember that all of these plants, they still have that intelligence. So even if a, a plant was grown on the other side of the planet, and it was brought to your country, and somehow you look at it and you're like, I really want to eat this plant. Like this banana, it looks really good. I think I want to eat this banana. Maybe you really are drawn to this banana because it has something that you need. All of... Imagine that you're getting a blood test and seeing all of the vitamins that you have or are missing and all of the things like zinc, etc. You're seeing all that. All that is energy. So <laughs> what they said to me is people um, overthink these things and um, need to start thinking about it more as energy. You're just missing a certain type of energy. So that banana can have that energy that you need. And that banana has it because it knows you're going to eat it. All the way from the other side of the world, that banana may have known from the start that it will get to you and that you will eat it. So it's providing you with what you need. So next time you go to the grocery store or wherever and see a fruit or a vegetable that you really feel looks really nice and you really want to buy it, buy it because that means that you need something that is within that plant. And our bodies are so intelligent. We don't give ourselves enough credit, but we can scan. We're literally scanning everything at every second. Our eyes are scanning the energy of these foods and they are telling us this energy I need. So you will be thinking mm, that looks nice. So you might go and buy that. <laughs> now, a lot of us might uh, be also drawn to some foods that are processed and not so good for us. Like, let's say a cake. You might be asking me, well, Victoria, what about a cake? If I'm really drawn and thinking, oh, I really want this cake, it looks so nice, my mouth is watering. Why is that? Why am I getting the same reaction? Don't worry, I asked them that too. <laughs> um, what they said is that this part of you, the old part, they said you can call it whatever you want. You can call it the old part of you, you can call it your ancestors, you can call it darkness, you can call it the devil, you can call it any name you want. But this part of you doesn't want to change. It wants to keep you somewhere where you are at. And if it's, I guess, a darker energy, it might want to keep you even lower than where you are right now. <clears throat> but this part of you doesn't want to change. You know that. Humans don't really like change. We prefer to stay comfortable. So the, our bodies are the same. Our cells are the same. They don't want to particularly go out and change and become lighter. They want to stay comfortable in where they're at now. So it's pulling you towards that food because it wants you to stay there. But in those moments... You have the power to ask yourself, really. Stop and ask yourself, is which part of me 
really wants this cake? Is this the part of me that wants to be balanced? The part of me that wants to be healthy and light? Or is this the part of me that just wants me to stay in the past? That wants me to stay lower frequency? Ask yourself. And then hopefully you'll get an answer. <laughs> um, or hopefully you'll figure out whether you really want that cake or not. Because that's what's important. Do you really want it or not? Sometimes going higher, faster, is not good. It's like filling a balloon with helium. It just floats up into the sky and then you never see it again. <clears throat> Sometimes you need something to ground you. And there are grounding plants like root vegetables, like um, potato. But these lower frequency foods and alcohol as well, uh, they ground you much faster. Um, and some people need that. So sometimes you might really need this energy. So don't feel bad about choosing that. Mother Mary was, uh, you know, very vocal about this. Have compassion for yourself. Love yourself. Because no matter what choice you make, that doesn't make you less worthy. That doesn't make you less than anyone else. It just still makes you you. So have compassion. If you want to make small changes, make them. If you don't, don't. If you want to make a big change, go out and make a big change. Everything is your choice. But you need to be aware of these choices that you're making. And right now, the upgrades that we will be receiving um, are things that will help and allow our bodies to unlock more of their own intelligence. So speaking of nutrients... What I was really thinking of when I heard that quote from the beginning, when you eat live, a, li a live food, you will be more living. People these days say, well, how can you be vegan? How can you get protein? How can you get this vitamin? How can you get that? How can you do that? How come there's people out there who can survive probably for months or month, weeks, uh, without food, just meditating. We're all humans. We must all be able to do that. Our bodies are very, very, very intelligent. They can recycle things. If you have too much of something, no matter whether it's positive or negative, uh, charged energy, that means that your body can recycle that and create something that you have too little of. But we don't know how to do that and we don't allow our bodies to do that because we believe right now, we've been told a story, you need this, this, and this to survive. If you don't have enough of this, you will not be healthy. So we're telling ourselves the same thing. Oh no, body, if I'm not eating enough protein, I'm not going to be able to survive. <laughs> You're telling yourself a story right now. All of us are. We're being fed this story that we're believing. But if we stop believing this story and change the story, change it to something that is more liberating and freeing, you don't need all of these things to survive. In I don't know how many years, maybe it will be uh, thousands of years, maybe it will be hundreds, maybe it will be less. You never know. We won't need food. Humans won't need food to survive anymore. And that is the truth. At some point, we will evolve in a way that we won't need to be nourished in that kind of way. Right now, I'm thirsty. I'm not going to need water <laughs> or my distant... Um, great 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 grandchildren might not need water like I do might not need food like I do right now and just because 
that seems like a distant future kind of thing doesn't mean that we can start making these changes now because I think that's why we're here. We're here to start implementing some of these changes. We're here to start doing some of these things. We're here to start understanding our bodies more, unlocking their full potential. And you, if you're watching this still, it's been 20, around 20 minutes, that means you can definitely do that. Um, and it's amazing. Isn't it? If you unlock your mind, rem not remove, but change the stories that you tell yourself. Like, you don't need all these things to survive. Your body can survive by itself. Completely. Somehow it will take the nutrients it needs. It will take them from somewhere. But it doesn't specifically need these things that people outside on the internet or wherever, are telling you that you need. So understand that. And don't be scared to trust your body and follow its guidance. Connect with your body and ask it what it really needs. You don't need to go and get a blood test to know what you need. You can just connect with your body and ask it. What do you need right now? What can I give you so that you can be more balanced? And I would say focus on that. It's not about going higher. It's about being balanced. Because if you have, all of us have a capacity to where we can get to. Some people's souls came in with the capacity to be able to be super high frequency, super high vibrational, super light. But other people didn't come here to do that. Not everyone came here to do that. Some people came to just be at the lowest, lowest part. And again, that's important. People need to be there too. We need all of those people to survive and to have the world that we have right now. Um, but some people came here with just getting up to here. And that's okay. So no... You need to understand what your capacity of light is. Because if you go higher than that, that can be bad for you too. You might start going crazy. <laughs> um, so understand that. And you understand your body. And understand that you need to trust yourself more. You need to connect with yourself more. Right now, that is the ultimate message of this video. Connect with your body and trust it. Because like I said, our bodies are so intelligent. And our bodies love us. Our bodies always love us. They're always doing things. Trying to help us. If you're breathing, walking, eating, then your body, you know, it loves you. It wants you to thrive. It wants you to survive here and it wants that because it is a part of you it is you so treat your body well treat your body well start making positive changes don't be hard on yourself love yourself I feel like there's a lot more I can say there's a lot more I can talk about but I also feel like I'm going to end it here. It's been enough information so far. If you want a continuation of this, if you want to hear more information about anything, let me know in the comments. I love talking. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, maybe you love listening. <laughs> At least to me. <laughs> Ramble on. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this, everyone. And... I hope it somehow helped you understand more about yourself, understand more about your body, about what is going to be happening to us. Because like I said, we're going to be getting upgrades that will help our bodies unlock that intelligence. So they will be able to create nutrients for themselves. You're not going to have to eat all these like different types of foods to get all these nutrients that you think you need. Your body can make anything you want it to so start working with it yeah thank you again for watching leave me a comment telling me what you think about all this maybe you think i'm crazy maybe 
<laughs> maybe you also agree with this or maybe i don't know maybe you're neutral about this and uh, yeah i'm curious to know what you guys think about this as well i'm curious to know what kind of diet you guys have did you know about any of this how do you feel about any of this what do you think your capacity of light is and this was a lot of questions this was a long video again i hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe if you haven't maybe i'll make another one like this again <laughs> whatever the case i love you all bye bye